of Italy and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen I'm going to show you how to make Italian wedding soup. Now there are lots of different versions of this so this is my version and I hope you enjoy it. So let's go over the ingredients so we can get started. You're going to need some diced carrots, celery, chopped onion, chopped garlic, fresh washed baby spinach, ground chicken, small baby pasta, any kind you like, some breadcrumbs, fresh parsley, parmigiano-reggiano, one egg, a little bit of onion and garlic, that's for our de meatballs, and of course a little bit of milk and a lemon, and you're gonna need some salt and pepper and olive oil. Now, I don't know if you guys can tell, I just got over a cold, so my voice is still a little raspy, but it's getting there. So this is a delicious soup, and I've changed it up a little bit. Traditionally, it's made with ground veal. Little meatballs made out of ground veal. I'm going to make mine with ground chicken just because anytime I can put in white meat over, you know, a darker meat, I do that, and this time works perfectly. So, for the meatballs, we're going to use... And this is, feeds two people really well. So this is about three quarters of a pound of ground chicken. And now I'm going to grate in there just a little onion. That's why I kept it aside. Just gonna grate it in and give it such fantastic flavor. But I don't want like, you know, big chunks of it. I want really fine onion that you'll barely, you won't be able to chew on it or bite down on a piece of onion. So I'm just gonna grate it. That's enough onion. Because when it's grated, it's like really, really strong. So we don't need much, especially for this amount. Same thing with the garlic, and I'm just gonna look how fast this goes. Garlic done. There it is. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna add in, you know, I told you before when I made traditional meatballs, my grandmother always puts a little bit of milk in meatballs. So I do the same thing no matter what kind of meatballs I'm making. So we have the milk in there. Before I get my hands dirty, I'm just gonna make everything in here. I add when I make my chicken meatballs, just a tiny bit of lemon zest. It brights it up and it's just so delicious. I absolutely love it. And I actually finished the soup with a little lemon zest as well. It really is a fantastic combination because lemon zest goes so well with chicken and it goes so well with spinach. I figured, hey, you know what? Let me try it and I did and I loved it. So next, Follow me, John on a journal. Use a good kind, like I always say. You buy a block of it, you'll have it for a while. Now, traditionally, you're supposed to use pecorino, which is a sheep's milk. Um, sheep's, yeah, it, it is. It's it's a cheese made out of sheep's milk. It's very strong. I don't care for it, so I always use Parmi John on a journal anytime my recipe calls for pecorino. So, eh, you know, I mean, you can use it if you'd like, but it's just way too strong for my liking, for my taste. I'm gonna just crack an egg, put one right in, I was cracking a separate bowl. Now season this with a little salt and pepper. Don't go too crazy in the salt because we have a good amount of parmigiano in there and it's very salty. So do that, a little bit of salt. And then all my breadcrumbs, a couple tablespoons of breadcrumbs to start because you don't want your meatballs to be too dry. And. I'm just going to chop up a little bit of parsley. There we go. We got our parsley right into our bowl. Let me de bling, like Guy Fieri says. Take off my rings. Ay, feeling tight today. Okay, I'm going to start this with my spoon and then I'll just incorporate everything with my hands. I like to start out with a spoon because if it looks too loose and I have to add in you know, a little bit more breadcrumbs or something, or more liquid, then I don't have dirty hands, and this looks perfect. So now we switch to the hand method. They should be a little wet, like they should be, they shouldn't feel really, really dry out and like really tough, because otherwise you're going to have tough falls. You don't want that. You want light little pillows of love. All right, mix beautifully. You don't want to over mix. And these should be very tiny meatballs. I know, but you know what? It's a little bit of a pain, but you can do it. Come on, it's not that hard. Just roll them up, just like that. All right, got all my meatballs done. And as you can see, my patients got the best of me. Some are a little bigger than should be, but I did okay. I'm going to go wash my hands, and I'm going to meet you at the stove where we'll start cooking everything up. 
Now in this pot that I have preheating over medium high heat, I put about a tablespoon of olive oil in there. And I just turned it on, so it shouldn't be really, really hot yet. What it is. I'm going to add in all my veggies, the garlic, the onion, the celery, and the carrots. Stir that around. I'm just going to season it with salt and pepper. You know me, always seasoning every layer of your dish. You know, I have a really nice, flavorful, round dish after you're done, if, if you do that. Now, another ingredient you're going to need for this recipe is chicken stock. Now, you can use really good homemade chicken stock if you have it on hand. I didn't have any today, so I'm using my backup, which is the store-bought chicken stock, and there's nothing wrong with that. So just let these cook for about five minutes for a medium, medium high heat until they start to cook down. My veggies cooked for about five minutes. Perfect. Medium high heat. Now I'm going to add in my chicken stock. Woo! There we go. Leaving the heat up to medium high, I'm going to let this come to a bubble. After it comes to a boil, we're going to add in the chicken meatballs, the spinach after that, and we're going to put this whole thing together. My chicken stock come up to a boil, and now I'm just adding in the chicken meatballs gently, because these are really fragile. I put my meatballs in and I let them cook for five minutes. Now at this point, you want to add in your small shaped pasta and cook it according to the package direction. This is going to cook for about seven minutes. So in about five minutes, I'm going to add in my spinach because that needs to cook for a couple minutes as well. So if your package says like nine minutes at the seven minute mark, you want to add in your spinach. So I'm just going to let this cook for a few minutes and I'll meet you back here to finish it off. It's been about five minutes since I added my shortcut pasta. And now mine cooks for seven minutes. So two minutes before it's done, you want to add in your fresh washed baby spinach. And this is just about five and a half ounces. It looks like it's a ton. But as you know, spinach shrinks down to basically nothing. So you're going to need this amount. Just give this a nice toss. Look like that. I'm just going to taste this for seasoning because I seasoned the meatballs, I seasoned the vegetables when I first cooked them, and now depending on the brand or uh, of chicken stock you use, or if you're making your own, if it's already salted, most likely you're not going to need any more salt. So just always give it a taste before you add any more salt in. This does not need any, and I'm a big salt lover, so this is perfect. I'm just going to let this cook for another two minutes or so. And then I'll meet you back at the counter and we're going to finish it up with some special touches. And we're finally going to be able to, to get, dig in. My soup is done and it smells delicious. I just want to finish it with just a touch of lemon zest. Not a lot. Literally just the smallest amount is going to make a huge difference. It's just going to brighten it up and just give it this fresh note that you wouldn't get if you, wouldn't add, if you weren't adding in it. Any. I'm having a, just a terrible day speaking today. So, oh, it smells so good. Just a touch of fresh parsley. I'm just going to tear it with my fingers. Just like that. Make sure it's washed, of course. It smells so good. And now it's time to finally plate up. I mean, it really didn't take very long. Probably took about, I don't know, 45 minutes from start to finish, including making the meatballs. That's a really quick soup, but it's so good, I'm telling you. Now, anytime I make the soup, or any kind of soup for that matter, I love to finish it with lots of fresh ground black pepper. I have to clean that because that will drive me crazy. Remember what I always say, you eat with your eyes first. Oh, look at that. That is just awesome. I absolutely have to try some. Whoa. What a winner. It's so, so good. That lemon, just it's not overpowering. It doesn't hit you in the face, but it just makes it so nice and light and refreshing at the same time. It's delicious. I'm going to try a little piece of meatball. Mmm. 
right on. This soup is absolutely delicious. If you're looking for a great Italian wedding soup, try this recipe. I guarantee you will love it. To get this recipe and other recipes, check out my website at www.learnthekitchen.com. Thank you for spending time with me, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Thank you.